All right, guys, just a little something on a um, bypass or a non-bypass Detroit um, blower. Now on this V series blower, this is a V92 series. Um, you know, V71s, they're all the same thing, except um, with those um, bearing end plate covers that are a little bit thicker with bigger bearings, um, as mentioned on previous videos. Um, now, you would see the tops would have just small holes like this if it's a non-bypass style blower. Um, and you can check here on the face plate. I'll just show you there, there's no opening here. Because on a bypass, you would have this big um, gaping hole outlet here that bypasses, um, you know, boost and, and things like that. And there'll be a cutout on your face plate, on your end plate in there and it'll come out here. So try to avoid really the uh, Detroit blowers with that big center gaping um, bypass hole that's there, the outlet. Um, you can still use those blowers, um, you know, for everything else besides that end plate. And some people even still run it with the bypass sort of shut off, but I'll show you on this other blower that I scored real cheap, that's a bypass style. But yeah, so you'll see that. You'll see the face plates there. There's no cutouts. There's no outlets. This is a true closed off Detroit blower. Same here. It's only got the small holes. It's got no big gaping thing there. You can see there the face plate all closed off. And this is a non bypass V96 V92 actually this one is. Yeah, so same thing with this 8V71. Um, you'll see it's just got your normal little holes on top of your end plates there, which is fine. There's no big gaping uh, bypass hole there or an outlet. So this is a true non-bypass style Detroit blower, which is good. End plates are flat. So I'll just show you there. There's no outlet. And I'll just show you on this side. No outlet on the top, no bypass. And yeah, so these two here, that's a V92, this is an 8V71. True non-bypass style blowers, ready to be converted over. Yeah, and same goes with this um, one that I just scored, actually five minutes from where I live. Um, that's a, a 8V92, and it's got the big, bearing plates that are wider that are ribbed and got bigger diameter bearings and the same thing on that so i'll measure this and you can see there it's above three quarters of an inch so it's almost seven eighths like i said every single one of scored has got that this particular one is a bypass. It's got bypass end plates. Yeah, so this is the latest blower to the uh, um, addition. And I met the guy down the road, basically 125 bucks US, if we're talking about US dollars. And I thought that was a bargain. It's a it's a bypass blower, you can see it there. So it has a bypass end plate uh, with that big thing um, hanging over the end plate there. I'll just remove that. And, you know, I'm not too interested what that does, how it all works, but that's the bypass um, end plate. I'll just poke my finger through there so you can get a visual of what I mean. So that's top of the end plate through to the internal side um side plate you can see there and it's just an opening you can salvage those end plates if you're really tight and on a budget and can't find anything else you just basically got to block it off so again the v92 stuff have um the wide and thick um bearing plates as mentioned on previous videos and um they just got they're just stronger they've got bigger bearings I'll just remove this and you can see there they um, have you know they're a little thicker than the v71 stuff 
and they've got gussets and, you know, uh, webbing and that uh, surrounding the bearing and the bearing diameters are a little bit bigger than the V71 stuff. So they're a good alternative. You can see here at the top the openings that you can just plug off or tap in some welch plugs to seal that off. That's no drama. Ideally, you don't want to use a bypass end plate on hot rod converted overuse. Um, even though they're strong webbed and, you know, they've got the gussets and the large bearings in the V92 stuff back there, um, you you sort of want to replace that. But if you can't, yeah, it's, yeah, there's the outer bolts there that help clamp down the blower also. But, you know, that um, bypass outlet, you don't really want that. Um, for hot rod use you can sort of block that off tapping in a welsh plug or some type of a plug off even a tube um you know uh you know like a sleeve that mimics the factory thing that can sort of get tapped in there and seal off but you're still going to have a slot um on the end plate on the internal side and you know just air and fuel is going to pump in and and sort of get sucked out of that slot as the blower is working so you're going to lose um, regardless a little bit of efficiency and some boost um, you know interruption there but you know this thing is still going to flow power you know what I mean you're, you're still going to pump you know 600 to 900 horsepower worth of flow out of these blowers gear set on this looks Mickey Mouse and that's all you use you you run the factory gear set as long as it's good as long as the teeth and everything are, are fine and that's what I run on my Jimmy setup factory you know Detroit GM gears um and there's nothing wrong with that you know what i mean um obviously that coupler at the front there you swap out you run a larger diameter stronger version of that spline um for your drives now okay hope that helps guys and thanks for tuning in again